Alright, so yeah, my uh, third pickup for the week is I got Twisted Metal on PlayStation. Ricky, do you like this game at all? It's alright. <laughs> got him again! So, another thing is, this game is like... God, I'm so tired of getting slapped every stinking week. Honestly, just one of these days I'm gonna go off on him. But, he is my friend. That's my favorite character, he's kind of the bad the bone guy. But, um, I got it for a couple bucks. Screw it, I've been taking this week after week. It's now or never. Uh, 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 I'm going for it! Die, Devil Bird! Yeah, I wish I worked at one of those. Have every set. <laughs> I don't Sunday know if you off. wish you worked at one of those. Ricky, is it have your dreams to call? Ricky, you could apply at the thrift store. I'm sure. I should, dude. If I if I won the lotto, I'd still work at the thrift store. Be like, hey, you don't have to pay me. Just whatever old games come by, just give me those. <laughs> <laughs> one comes in in like seven months. Ricky, I'll only get like one video game. But what if it's Little Samson? <laughs> It's been about two weeks since Ricky and I went game hunting, so we're headed out to Riverside today to go, but first we gotta stop and discuss some game bartering. Look first. I don't know what I could possibly have that you would trade me Demon's Crest for. Except, mm, I'll give you my copy of Journey to Silius. <laughs> What's up guys? I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're, we're Riverside. Riverside. Let's go! Looking through me. How much are other games? Three bucks for Twisted Metal. It's a bad to the bone game. Would you do two for five? It's cheap. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. Predator 2. I actually like this picture. That is a cool picture. I've never played Predator 2. <laughs> Me right, I will look it up before I put it in the game, before I find footage, but I'm guessing that it's going to be like a side-scrolling platformer beat-em-up-ish. That's my guess. Has to be. We'll see. I'll put it in the video when I find out. I'm guessing it's RPG. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Hey, never know. All right, I'm getting Golden Axe 2 Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. Golden Axe 2 has, like, amazing art, by the way. It's, like, super, super mystical. Now you guys may not know this, but Ricky tends to slip away and not say anything when he disappears and looks for games. But this time it's my turn. Ricky, you get Ricky back here coming. I'm a Big Mac man. Well, I figured I'm sitting there waiting for Ricky to go talk to someone. What am I doing? This is my chance to freaking catch him slipping. So. Or catch him sleeping or something, I don't know. I feel I feel so bad using the Game Chasers reference for that. But that's the way the pursuit plays out, though. Immediately after that, we run into some Xbox organizer we've never seen. Let me see. So what it looks like. Wow. So what it looks like is it just stores your discs? If you have disc-only stuff? I'm guessing, unless you can hook it up to the... No, it doesn't look like you can hook it up to the Xbox. I don't think you can hook it up. Oh, it has a bunch of power plugs back. I don't know, I've never seen it. Looks interesting. Not something I need, but never seen it. Let us know if you've seen it. 
It's kind of cool. Xbox Game Manager by APC. So. All right, so every time we're here, we seem to be naming these goats. So I'm going to name two of these. This one's going to be Zach Pseudo Productions. And this one right here will be RPG Tour Guide. So you guys have been named. You can join Chris Roberts in the ranks of goats. So we love these goats. Except they don't have sanitizer today, and I feel like I have, like, ticks under my finger now. So great. Hey, the tick's awesome. The tick is awesome. Spoon! Spoon! Remember that guy? <laughs> That was a good TV show as a kid. Actually, not a lot of people like it. I know they made like video game ports of it too, and they were fun. Super uh, animated game. All right, guys. So, well, in case anyone wants to mess with you, you get one of these. Uh, yeah. You know how big this is. <laughs> mess with me. <laughs> this thing is gnarly. So, only for the Marines. Yep. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. And Devil May Cry. I don't know, does the devil cry? Here you go. Here we run across a guy that has quite a few Zelda games, and we run across one of my favorites, which I know a lot of you guys probably won't agree with me on this. Zelda's Adventure Link. the second Link game, which was a little different, because, or second Zelda game, a little different because it's a side-scroller mainly, as opposed to the normal RPG style, the first one, and uh, it received mixed reviews. I actually liked it a lot, and I still think it's one of the better ones, to be honest. But uh, not everyone agrees, so you don't have to agree. It's a little difficult. Gee, it sure is boring around here, 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 here. Hey, but what to? Look what they have. A Styanax. Styanax. A Styanax. The benefit of going to the swap meet early is that you normally have time to go to two swap meets. It's been a really good day so far, and that was only the first swap meet. So now we're headed out to another swap meet in Riverside, California, and we normally do good at these places. Alright guys, we're at another swap meet that I've never been to. Um, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere-ish, away from where we live, and uh, it's hot. But right here, me and Ricky are going to see who can throw a rock further first from this line. Ricky, come on over here. Ready? Come up first. Watch this distance. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. I see it. Go, Ricky. Dude, I won by like, what? 50 feet? Yards. You threw a heavier rock. It's Either only, way, guys, it's only like meant. I said, we're at another swap meet. Let's go. <laughs> I got stuff enough all over my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I just got Vice Project Doom. And the reason I got it is Metal Jesus recommended it and he was talking about it. So I'm gonna try it. It looked actually really amazing on um, his video. So have you ever played this Vice Project Doom? Uh -uh. Metal Jesus was talking about it. A total hidden gem, man. This is Vice Project Doom. Nobody knows about this game, but it's actually really cool. But dear God, that artwork, oh, it's terrible. And for four bucks, that's a deal. And last time Metal Juice re uh, recommended a game, I really liked it, a lot of the Wii games he recommended, so I go by his word. So Jason, thank you. It better be good though, or else I'll cut your hair off. Now, we've all experienced our fair share of resellers that are money hungry and will do anything to sell their games. We didn't understand this guy. He pretty much did everything in his power not to sell us this game. You'll have to see for yourself. That's what I played most. But what you want to do is to look on Ricky's Amazon looking at Killer and Amazon Sinkhole. has a, a low of 20. Oh, on this one? Yeah. You, you want, might want to look, more? see if you can get a 20 purse first, or 25 or 30 before you buy from me. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Too? How much you want for it? You said? Well, it's 50, yeah. 50. Because I only have one. If I had a double of it, then yeah, I'd do the 25 or 20. Gotcha. But I haven't had this game in like 15 years. No, we saw, we saw another one. That's how <sighs> I was like, oh. Yeah. This, this is when you wonder. I was like, I'll yeah. explain later. <laughs> So, I didn't really understand that. He basically told Ricky that this game is like 20 bucks on Amazon, but said, I'm charging you 50. I didn't really understand what he meant. He's like, go look at other places before you buy from here, and it's selling for 20, but I'm selling for 50. He was like doing everything like in his power like, huh? not to sell it. So, I don't know. He, you know, he looked like he looked like Frank from uh, Pat the NES Puck. You don't shave, and either you get one or you don't. Something we don't do often on the show is buy toys, but when you see a toy that's video game related, it's kind of hard to say no, especially when it's a good game. How much is this uh, Bucky O'Hare? How can I say no, dude? This is so awesome. You guys want to cool, dude. Seven bucks for a Bucky? I mean, oh, seven bucks for a Bucky. Lucky Bucky right there, babe. Babe, they call him babe. What the heck? I swear we don't roll that way. <laughs> I have a wife. So we're not going to lie. We just got done watching a Game Chasers episode, and they made a big deal about buying a certain game that we just found. I like the cover. It's a funny cover, but oh, it's awesome. Chubby Cherub. Bandai. The Chubby Cherub alone, for argument, for resale-wise, and this is just Amazon sells the cheapest 27. Yeah. That one's the Chubby Cherub showing 32. Okay. And the, and the other one, Wampum, whatever. If you want to do that, I'll give you all three for 25. Yeah. You know, you want to do that? You know? Yeah. Because the bottom line is, for her to go through, I, I'm, I'm trying to make sense of it for her, for her to go and take the time to do all that Okay. She's not going to You know, so 25 is good if you want to. Like. You know? All I can say is, wow, this reseller knew what he had and was willing to sell it to us for a cheap price just because we were collectors. You don't run across people like that often. And this was a really good weekend for us. Going every other week to the swap meet now makes us that much more excited when we do go. We're super thankful and we just had a ton of fun together hanging out and doing what we do. We couldn't be happier with the way this day turned out. Today's like the nicest day ever and I know we started out in the morning with crap, but Wendy's for lunch. I'm seriously pretty surprised um, we're not like freaking beasts of fat men. Dude, Dude there's churros. Freaking I know, like, but I'm so thirsty right now. It's been like probably three years since I've tried this, and this is a fat skateboard, it's not, so, so it's not possible probably. Kickflip first try if I still have it. Looks like I didn't lose my talent. Alright. That was my show off for the day. Oh, hello guys. <laughs> Got him right off the bat. Welcome to our end of our video, which I'm like stumbling right now. My name's Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. <laughs> the best channel in the world. No, we're not. Or no, we're Do you think we're good? I, I enjoy watching it. I do. It's funny. I'll like actually watch our episodes quite a bit at work. It because sucks. I have fun watching. <laughs> just kidding. Our cameraman just, just said kidding. he suck. It's no big deal. That is, that's hurtful. <laughs> Alright, let's get to what we do. Ricky, this is the end of our video where we talk about what we did at the swap meet with everything you just saw. So let's go straight into our pickups. This is the man to begin the plan. Alright, so for my first pickup, I actually went to a thrift store. Random thrift store got a box of stuff. This was in there complete. A power nip, the power glove. How yeah. awesome is that? Yeah, freaking Ricky scored on that. All dude. the hookups, everything. It came with a ton of stuff for 20 bucks, and I was like, and I'm proud yes. of Ricky right now just for, for not doing the it's so bad quote, which everybody in the world does when they get a power glove. So thank you. It's so bad. Good job. Don't do it. Put the power glove down. Go on to the next freaking pickup. Watch the wizard. Yeah, watch the wizard. There you go. That's a good movie. I'd watch it. I love the power glove. California. It's a cool movie, actually. One of my first pickups, Rygar. Pretty fun. I actually stink at this game. I was pretty bad. I think I just need practice, but... It's fun. If you get good fun. at it, it's fun. I know some people don't like it. I think Chris Roberts, who we've talked about before on our Facebook, uh, I mentioned what game you regret buying, and I think he said this. So, screw you, Chris Roberts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I do like that game a lot. It's an awesome weapon. It's like a fireball you throw and like, it's like it comes a spinning back. Yeah, I don't know what it it's is. It's cool. I like it. Like you said, I think you have to be good at it. 
yeah. to, to like it. You gotta learn the game. Yes, learn the game, not be good. I'm not good. And then for my other one, I actually got this one the next day after I didn't go with Aaron. Uh, Battletoads. Considered one of the hardest games on the NES. Yeah, which it is hard, but I wouldn't say it's as hardest on the NES, but it, it's definitely hard. And you guys probably know about it, beat em up. It was in our top five NES beat em ups. I don't know why it is, but the way your fist, your foot, or your head gets big, along with the sound effects, just warms my sick, cynical heart. Yeah. Very good game. Multiplayer. Very fun. Zits, Pimple, and Rash is the name of the players. Glad I got so it. so Vile, why did they do that? Zits, pimple, yeah, that's so gross. Uh, I also got Metal Gear. I didn't have it for some random reason. Mm -hmm. I have all of them, but this one, yeah. So, add it to the collection, yeah. And I think I remember when I was a kid playing, it was weird because he smokes like in the first scene, and I was like, Whoa, like that's I think that's like the first time I ever saw that in like a video game that I was playing as a kid. Like, this guy's smoking. If Nintendo taught me one thing, it's to always smoke. <laughs> That is good. I remember when I first played, I didn't understand the first part, like trying to sneak around yeah, the first guy. Yeah. I was like, yep, the first part as a kid too was like, what? This, is, this is not a running gun, this isn't fun, but yeah. now we all know Metal fun. Gear, I'm gonna call it Metal Storm. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is probably one of the coolest games we got, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Yeah, and he did get a good deal on it, as you guys saw, we got a package deal for it up. Wampum, that game, and Chubby Cherub for 25 bucks, so that's a deal. Beautiful. That's a really good deal, awesome guy that sold it to us. Just so math. Games, yeah, games <laughs> sucks like all heck. So two plus two equals four. This is so much fun. But hey, it's a it's a good game. It's a pretty not rare but valuable ish. Yeah, it's it's good to get. Yeah, you got a good deal. Okay, we'll go straight into Mimi Me stuff. Golden Axe Two, which is one of the better beat 'em ups on the Genesis. Um. Maybe even one of the better beat ups ever. The Golden Axe series are like highly ranked up there, especially in the Sega world. So they are pretty fun. Yeah, they're very awesome. And uh, like I showed before, the cover art is a thing of beauty. And um, beauty. something that I don't think many people know about is a game named Ten Star. It's um, a shooter game, but like a uh, what would you call it? View first person view, kind of like is an it? FPS. Oh. But you can't see your gun. But it's very like animated, almost like Sunset Riders, but robots, but very cartoony. It's fun. I only played it for like maybe what 30 minutes. Yeah. But it was pretty fun. I, I figured by the cover it might be kind of goofy, but it was better than I thought. I wouldn't say great, but I got it for like what four bucks or something. I think three, three bucks. Yeah. So I got this because of the recommendation from Metal Jesus. Metal Jesus. Vice Project Doom, which is actually a lot of different things. It's a side scroller, a platformer, you're racing cars, and it's freaking awesome. I was playing it the other day by myself, and the cover art I know is weird. Metal Jesus talked about that in his video. Metal Jesus. That's awesome right there, though. Yeah, shoot to thrill. Isn't that an ACDC song? I think I it think is. it is. I would play it, but copyright won't allow that stuff, so I ain't doing it. So great game. Thank you, Metal Jesus, for the recommendation. Um, anybody else too? I'd pick it up, and it's cheap. So pick it up. Yeah, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Go. Wampum. A very I don't know. I don't hear many people talk about it, but in my opinion, underrated. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it's a platformer yeah. with cool cartoony graphics, but you're an Indian and you have a little knife, but it gets longer. Or what do you call those when the Indians have the a teepee? No, what are those things? The axe. I'm asking the cameraman best spear. A spear! Ha! See, that's why I bring Chris a around. A spear. So, yeah, a spear, and it gets bigger with power-ups and stuff, so very cool game. And the last thing I got, not really, because I got more stuff, I just don't like to show it all because it takes too long to edit. We can. Um, the last thing I got, which is uh, my prize for the week, Chubby Cherub, which we were watching, funnily enough, the Game Chasers episode the night before, and they got this, and uh, we're making kind of a big deal about it, and uh, it's funny that we saw it the next day. <laughs> California 1, Texas 0. I think we got it, Jay. I think Jay got it. So, nah, awesome game. This time. Oh, I don't know. I don't oh, know. yeah, Jay got it before. Yes. Yeah, Jay got it the first time around. <laughs> it's a cool game. It's a platformer. Very weird. You're Cupid. You shoot arrows of love. I'm kind of sick of this stupid Mario being in the back of every freaking video. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I'll give it a, let's see, out of a 10, I'll give it a 7. 7.5. So that's pretty good. Pretty good game. Hey, that's it. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't always mention those as much as I should. Go on them. We're stupid on them. Trust me. As stupid as we are here, we're even more stupid on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> Dude, how long are you gonna make me laugh? I said for five seconds. That Delete was, that. It was, was so long. Facebook, you guys are all super involved. That's where you guys all seem to mainly go. So awesome people. Thank you. Like button. The reason we like the like button. As many of you guys know, is A, it makes us feel good, 
And B, something I didn't really think about before is but more people see it. When you guys click like, oh. more people see it. So it helps us get more exposure nice. you know, for the time that we spend doing this. And um, So we, thanks for doing it. Actually, yeah, you guys, for a doing lot it. of you guys do a it. A ton of you guys yeah. do it. And thank you, and we appreciate it. And we appreciate the 5,000, which you guys already saw the video. If you didn't check it out, I already put it out. So with that said, have a good weekend or a week. What is it? It's Sunday or Saturday night. Depends where you live. Sadison. Sadison. So that's it. Have a good day. And we will see you guys next week for another video. Don't forget to subscribe because we will be here next week. No matter what, I bet Ricky's life on it. Goodbye. Bye, my life. I love that this stuff fell. I love it. I mean, it's so much better. I got so nervous, Ricky. I thought the whole shelf was going to come tumbling down. I was like, ah! I was actually cowering in fear when I heard that go down. I was like, oh, crap. The whole game shelf is coming down. <laughs> Ow! This got me good. I think my leg's bleeding. Thank you, Ricky. It is. Look at it. Look at this. I'll put that in there and I'll film. Oh, dude, that's kind of deep. Actually, it's pretty deep. That's when you take your skits way too seriously. <laughs> I really meant to hurt him. <laughs> I know, he probably did. He probably really is pissed about the slaps.